We would like to respectfully acknowledge the Wurundjeri Willem people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional custodians of this land on which we meet today and pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging. This week is NAIDOC week. NAIDOC week celebrations are held across Australia each year to celebrate the rich history, culture and achievements of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. NAIDOC is celebrated not only in Indigenous communities, but by Australians from all walks of life. This week at Hazel Glen College, we are taking the opportunity to discuss the importance of NAIDOC and what it means throughout our personal enrichment lessons. Classes will also have the opportunity to have conversations and watch videos during reflection and lunch eating time, as well as reading storybooks by First Nations authors in our library sessions. The theme this year is Always Was, Always Will Be. Always Was, Always Will Be recognises that First Nations people have occupied and cared for this continent for over 65,000 years and will continue to look after this country with the help of every Australian today. It is really important to recognise and amazing to think about the rich history of the land that Hazel Glen College is built on. Before the college foundations were laid, before European settlement, the Aboriginal people of the Wurundjeri Willem clan were living on the land that now forms the city of Whittlesey and the northern suburbs of Melbourne. They travelled the area in search of resources, fresh water, food and shelter. The Plenty River and many creeks offering various types of fish and bird life. They held cultural ceremonies and conducted businesses at trade negotiations at sacred sites. Over 70 of these sites still exist in the city today as well as many sacred scarred trees. The Wurundjeri Willem people have a strong connection to the land known as the city of Whittlesey. Today there are currently between 1,000 and 1,500 Wurundjeri Willem people living in Victoria. Many of the names in the city of Whittlesey were inspired by the Wurundjeri culture and traditions. Bandura, Kiel Bandura, was a young boy present at the signing of the Batman Treaty. Yan Yin, derived from Yan Yan, means young boy. Mernda, derived from Mern Mern Dick, means young girl. Wallert, derived from Wallert, means possum. Merry means the place of many rocks. Wallen, derived from Walleen Walleen, means spherical or round. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were Australia's first explorers, first navigators, first engineers, first farmers, first botanists, first scientists, first diplomats, first astronomers and first artists. Australia has the world's oldest oral stories. The first people engraved the world's first maps, made the earliest paintings of ceremony and invented unique technologies. They built and engineered Structures, structures on Earth predating well-known sites such as the Egyptian pyramids and Stonehenge. NADOC Week 2020 acknowledges and celebrates that our nation's story didn't begin with documented European contact, whether in 1770 or 1606. With the arrival of the Dutch on the western coast of the Cape York Peninsula, the very first footprints on this continent were those belonging to First Nations people. Hazel Glen College is proud to take part in NAIDOC Week 2020, which invites all Australians to embrace the true history of this country, a history which dates back thousands of generations. Always was, always will be.